Hello and welcome to the first presentation on my S92 Interactive Systems Trainer. Today we're going to be talking about the electrical system. Okay, so if you click on the electrical system icon, it will take you to the electrical system worksheet that we have here. If you fly the S92, this will look very familiar to you. It's the standard schematic used to uh, train pilots in the electrical system on the S92. You have the uh, power switching panel and also the miscellaneous uh, systems panel which has all the electrical switches on it. Okay, so if we have a look at the diagram, what we have here is just an indication of what configuration the electrical system is currently in. So it's battery installed, battery switch off. And it's the battery here. It does provide power to the battery utility bus. Uh, you can look what's on any of the buses by clicking on the bus itself. And you can see there's five things on the battery utility bus that are powered at all times whilst the battery is installed. Okay, so running through a normal start on the electrical system. Battery switch on, you can see the appropriate buses uh, light up and the appropriate lines light up and all the circuit breakers, um, uh, sorry, the relays move as uh, they should. Uh, we start the APU, you can see here the APU has started. If you want to read up about the APU generator, you can click on the APU. You have some information here. APU Gen is now on, so the APU generator on, that's powering the system for the start. You would start the aircraft at this stage and then turn on number one generator, it's now on. You turn your APU off, turn your number two generator on. Okay, this is now what I call the flight configuration for the electrical system. Note, we leave the APU generator switch to on, just so this is always connected. And the reason is, if you have, which I'll show you shortly in emergencies, if you do have a, a double generator failure, you can just switch on the APU control and you'll get power to the system. Okay, so once we're in the flight configuration, you get these three buttons here to run through some emergency situations. You have the generator failures. So number one main generator failed. You'll see here, this is the, the caption you get. The AC Gen 1 fail indicates a failure with either the number one AC generator or the number one generator contactor. Okay, you'll note this little information arrow appears here. To get further information, you can click on that and you can read about a single generator failure. Click it again. Go to number two main generator failure. Note with all these failures, you can. So the the problem may have just been a tripped um, circuit breaker or something. You can reset it. Off, then on, and it's back online if you're lucky. Again, you can read about further information and AC Gen number two fail. Okay, dual generator failure. Again, that's why I say we generally fly around with APU Gen on. Because in this situation, you can just turn on your APU and the APU will provide power to the system. As you know, it doesn't power the whole system. There are a few minor things that you know, can't be powered under the APU generator alone, and there you can read up on that in this section here. Okay, now we're back to the uh, flight configuration. Converter failures. Okay, what's happened? We have a number two DC converter failure. You can see the number one DC converter has taken over. And if you click on it, okay, I haven't put the converter information in yet. But you can read down here, single DC converter failure. There's a dual DC converter failure. You can see the battery powers the battery utility bus, the battery holder bus, the backup uh, DC converter, which is was fly around in the normal uh, switched on here. Powers the DCS and the battery bus. Now these two buses here don't have a great deal of equipment on them. So the battery should last, I'm, I, I'm not off the top of my head, I don't know the figures, but you see the battery bus and the DC essential bus have quite a lot powered and you can be confident they're still being powered through the backup DC converter. That's some good architecture. Continuous converter failure may have 
really unlucky day and a one two DC converter failure as well as a backup DC converter failure. You'll see in this instance you still have AC power going to your AC buses, but nothing coming through to the DC side except the battery, which is powering your battery utility and your battery holder. Uh, don't forget in this situation to turn your backup converters off and you recover your battery bus. Uh, the reason this is important, there it is your pilot ICS, so you'll be able to talk to each other in the cockpit. Obviously it will drain the battery a little bit faster in this configuration. And the last emergency battery hot, you see the K25 battery hot relay. Again, this is the caption, you should get battery hot. It's the configuration and some more information. Click it again, goes back to the flight configuration. So for the shutdown, you start your APU. You need to shut down your generators, turn off the APU gen, APU control off, and battery off. Turn the battery back on, I do have AC external power connected to the system here, AC external power, and DC external power. Battery back off. And just some other things, the GCU information, if you want to read up about the GCUs, the generators. Okay, you can, you can incorporate a whole lot of information into this. As I said, I've got the DC converter stuff or the battery stuff or any ex uh, external power stuff in there. But you can add all that, um, as much or as little as you want. Okay, from here, home button takes you back to the home screen. You can see here I've got the hydraulic system, fuel system, performance charts, and cruise charts. I haven't made any of these yet. Um, although you can see in one of my other videos, I do have the performance charts and cruise charts for the S92. I just haven't incorporated into this program yet. I will shortly. And I'll also build the hydraulic system and fuel system. And once I have each of these uh, built, I'll create a video and upload it onto this site. Okay, so if you've enjoyed the video, please uh, like it, please comment, uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next couple of weeks with another video. Thank you very much.